Good evening, Nintendo fans. How's it going? It's Amiibo Jason here, and welcome to the Daily Wiretap for the evening of March 6th, 2017. And once again, it's time to take a look at some of the top stories from the world of Nintendo. Let's get cracking. First up tonight, Shantae Half Genie Hero gets brand new hardcore mode. Old school platforming fans rejoice! Weave whipping heroine Shantae is upping the ante for players seeking a more challenging experience by including a brand new hardcore mode. Available today via a free update, Gluttons for Punishment can look forward to the following sadistic features. Harder hitting enemies, faster enemy patterns, faster scrolling speeds, remixed enemy locations, new boss patterns, healing items capped at 6, rebalanced magic items, and clearly a soon-to-be bruised and battered half-genie whose only wish is to be free from your abusive relationship. While we're completely aware most of you are probably too busy playing with your brand new Nintendo Switch to care, you might need to dust off your Wii U gamepad for one more ride. Next up, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is heading to the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo is wasting absolutely no time using the Switch's Nintendo News feature to announce new titles heading to the system. In an update focused on indie games coming to the system sent out to European users, Bloodstained's logo is featured alongside other games announced during the Nindies showcase last week. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is a crowd-funded, half-Metroid, half-Castlevania-style game that's sure to make Castlevania fans scream with joy. Although the Nintendo News update mentions indie games confirmed for the Nintendo Switch throughout 2017, Bloodstain Ritual of the Night is expected to be released sometime in the first half of 2018. Next up tonight, Nintendo UK announces a Bye Bye Box Boy demo and details some of the game's features. Good news, Box Boy fans! A few days ago, we reported that Nintendo UK posted and subsequently removed a page confirming the Japanese exclusive Goodbye Box Boy was being localized for the region, complete with a brand new name, Bye Bye Box Boy. It appears that Nintendo UK is added again as it posted again and removed again an article detailing the game's UK release and announcing a demo which includes a sampling of all three Box Boy titles. At the moment, there is currently no word on a release date, confirmation of a US release, or an announcement of an amiibo bundle similar to what we saw in Japan, but stay tuned to Nintendo Wire for more details as new information about the release is announced. And finally tonight, Joy-Cons can sync to PCs, Macs, and Android devices via Bluetooth. People have been tinkering with Switch hardware for a few days now, leading to a few new discoveries about the system and its peripherals. French Nintendo fan site Nintendo Act 2 has experimented with the system's Joy-Con controllers on Windows and Android devices. In similar vein, software engineer Sam Williams found out the devices work with Mac OS as well. All of this is due to the controller's Bluetooth capabilities, which also allowed the Wii Remote and other controllers to hook up to home computers. While the Joy-Cons don't seem to be natively recognized, the utilization of freeware software joy to key allows you to map buttons so anybody can play games with the controllers, opening up many possibility for utilization of the technology in the future. And that's going to wrap up the daily wiretap for the evening of March 6th. 2017. As always, there's a link to the full written article down in the description below, and make sure to stay connected to Nintendo Wire for all of your late-breaking Nintendo needs. See you tomorrow, guys!